I'm Joginder Singh and you are watching Jogi and You. Today we will prove that root 2 is an irrational number through contradictory method. In this video, I'll explain the whole proof step by step. So first of all, let us look at our question. Here we have the number root 2 and we have to prove that it is an irrational number. In mathematics, whenever we have to prove something, usually we use related basics, theorems or some properties. Well then, here also we will look at some of its properties. And some of them are like this. An irrational number is a real number that cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers. That means P upon Q. Another one is, it is a contradiction of rational numbers. Next, the decimal expansion of an irrational number is neither terminating nor recurring. Fourth one is, irrational numbers are the difference between a set of real numbers and a set of rational numbers. Next is, generally, the square root of a non-perfect square number will always result in an irrational number. And the last one is the calculations based on these type of numbers a bit complicated. None of these properties is such that with the help of which we can prove root 2 as an irrational number. One way for this would be to find the exact value of root 2 and then prove that value to be irrational. But for that, we have to go to the long division method. Whereas, for the contradiction method, we have to find some impossible results opposite to each other. So whatever it is not, consider it the same and after treating it as a rational number, the contradiction that will be created will help us to say that what we assumed was wrong and so the given number is an irrational number. So let us assume that root 2 is a rational number and its simplest form will be a over b where a and b both are co-primes and denominator b cannot be equal to 0. So we can write this as the root 2 is equal to a over b. Do square both the sides and we get 2 is equal to a square over b square. Just transfer this b square to the left side and this is our equation number 1. In this equation, it is clear that the left side is divisible by 2. Look at here. 2 to 2 cancel. So here 2 divides 2b square which is our left side. So we can say that 2 will divide the right side also. Here we have a theorem that is based on the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And the theorem is let p be a prime number if p divides a square then p divides a, where a is a positive integer. So here, because 2 divides a square, then 2 also divides a. Now, according to our recent fact, we can say that 2 will be a factor of a, and this will be our equation number 2. In all this, these are the things we need and we wiped everything else. Now, according to equation number 2, we can say that a is equal to 2 multiplied by something and that something means let it be some integer c here. By squaring both the side, we get a square is equal to 4c square and this is equation number 3. Now, look at these two equations. 1 and 3. One side of both the equations is A. Then of course, 
the other two sides will also be equal to each other. So here we have 2b square is equal to 4c square. After dividing both the sides by 2, we get b square is equal to 2c square. We will also calculate its result in the same way as in equation number 1. So here 2 divides 2c square, then 2 divides b square, and because 2 divides b square, then 2 also divides b. Now we have the same result again. So we can say that 2 will be a factor of b, and this will be our equation number 4. Just wipe out all the extra things and keep the things we need later. Now look at this information carefully. The first thing we have is that we considered root 2 as a rational number and a and b we had as co-primes. That means there is no common factor between a and b. Also what are the next two facts we have? Equation number 2 and 4. According to these equations digit 2 is a factor of A and the same digit 2 is also a factor of B. So here we can say that 2 is a common factor of both A and B. But it is an impossible result because this contradicts the fact that A and B both are co-primes and this contradiction arises by assuming that root 2 is a rational number. So finally, you can say that what we assumed previously is wrong and root 2 is an irrational number. And hence, it is proved. And now, those who need a complete solution at once can write everything by pausing this video. By the way, guys, follow me on YouTube and Facebook to see more such videos. And yes, do like and share it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.